Hello everyone, this is Manny Figueroa. I'm the creative lead at Viral Style. Today we'll talk about the design template for the new Sublimation long sleeve shirt. To access our design templates, go to our designer and click on the design templates tab. On the menu, look for Sublimation long sleeve. The template is available in three different formats. You have Illustrator AI, Photoshop PSD, and PNG. For those of you that are not familiar, a PNG format is a JPEG with a transparency. So if you're not using Photoshop or Illustrator, you can still use it as a template and create your designs. For this example, we're using the Photoshop PSD template. When you open the file, you'll see that it's color coded and there's a legend to let you know what each color and area means. Now it's very important that you use this template. I can't stress this enough. Use the template. That way we can ensure that the design is in the right place, it has the right dimensions, and it prevents errors when it goes into printing. Okay, so the blue area, which is the print area, is what you're basically gonna see in the designer when you upload your design. Now, don't just design to cover the blue area and I'm gonna show you in a little bit why, but your design should cover the whole canvas. Now in the middle, there's a safe area, which is the green box that you see there. Your main design should be within that box. If you have text, a photo, character, anything that must be in the shirt and can't be distorted or cut should be within that green box. And I tell you this because if you get it too close to the edge, Sometimes the seams, when it gets sewn, might stretch it or pull it in or distort it, and we don't want that. As long as it's in the green box, your design is safe. It will be printed correctly. If you look at the sleeves, you'll see that it's below the title alignment warning. This means that the design at the seams, the shoulders, the sides, might not align perfectly, especially around the shoulder area. We recommend not adding logos or other design elements that need to be in a specific place on the sleeves. The reason for this is that when they get sewn together, it's too close to the seams and it might get distorted or shifted. We just want to avoid that type of error. Now, I mentioned before that the design should cover the whole canvas area. And this has to do with the print file that we send to the print shop. So let me open it up here. As you can see, every part of the shirt is printed separately. The chest, the back, and the sleeves. You can see it's double the size of what you see on the designer. And that's why we ask for you to fill the whole canvas area. So in case we need to move things left and right, up and down, adjust them, we actually have info. We have design to fill that area. If you do it exactly to the shape of the blue outline, then we won't really have that much to play around with and it's not really gonna look good when it gets printed. So, let me give you an example here. Go into File, Place Embedded, select your file and click on Place. Now, the file right now looks smaller than what it really is. This is a huge image. It has all the necessary resolution for a quality print. Please don't stretch your designs. If the image you got is, let's say, 300 pixels by 300 pixels, and it needs to be at a maximum of 5,000 pixels by 5,000, don't stretch it. Don't pull it to the sides, don't try to make it bigger, because it's gonna distort the image and it's gonna look like crap, basically. Always use high resolution files, vector files. There are plenty of sites online where you can get free assets that you don't need to pay for a stock photo account or anything like that. So take advantage of those. This will ensure a good final print on the shirt. So our image is adjusted. As you can see, it covers most of the canvas area. And this is what we need. This is the type of file you should upload. Once you've done that, turn off the template layer, 
go into file, save as, name your file, and on the format menu, select JPEG, click save, and this little box here is really important. This is the JPEG options window. You can see the quality of the file, and then you're gonna see a preview of what the final file size is gonna be. Now, you should know, any file that you upload in the designer should not exceed 10 megabytes. So this file has a great size. If the design that you're uploading is bigger than 10 megabytes, when you see it here in the preview, you can lower the quality. It won't really affect the resolution that much. It just compresses the image more but lower it and you can see how the size changes. Just don't go below eight in quality because then it's gonna go into medium quality and you might have some resolution issues. Click okay and you're done with the front design. Now you need to add a back design. You won't be able to launch this campaign if you don't add a back design. So just follow the same steps with the back design Save it. And now you're ready to launch your new Sublimation long sleeve t-shirt. If you have any questions, you can comment below or you can just contact us and we'll gladly help you. Have fun. Make lots of money and thank you for using Virostyle.